All right, guys, how's it going today? Um, we uh, picked up the new trailer yesterday, and uh, now I need to uh, weld in a uh, chain rack into the toolbox. So I hope you guys enjoy. So a little disclaimer here, um, I'm in no way, shape, or form a certified welder. Um, uh, to be honest, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I, I just make uh, metal stick together and call it good. So, um, but for this chain rack, um, I actually took this out of my other Titan trailer because the chain rack was too long. Um, so this end was already on. Um, you can tell from the absolutely garbage welds, but uh, the other one hasn't broken, so we're going to run with it. And then today I added on this with my stick welder. Uh, the welds look a lot better um, than the other side, but um, they're still not very good. They're, they're all right and they'll hold. Um, so, um, but yeah, now we're going to get this mounted in the trailer. So this uh, chain rack is going to sit about right here. Um, I need to take my grinder and uh, grind all this stuff down. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so now that the grinding is done, I grinded out the two spots to put that where they fit. Now we'll start welding. So the welder I'm going to use for this is my uh, Harbor Freight Special um, uh, Flux Core Wire Welder. Um, this thing does great. I actually did the other welding to make the bracket with my stick welder, which is also the Harbor Freight one. Um, guys, they work well, and for me, for the stuff I need to weld, they work perfectly. Uh, so let's get started here. Guys, the darkness of the of the uh, uh, toolbox, I can't see anything on my mask. Alright, now let's do some welding. Well that fucking sucks. It's funny the last time I installed this in my other trailer I was like hey I'm gonna make sure that I make that I leave room uh, so I can weld the left side the farthest side over um, and now I think I put it even farther left than I did the first time so yeah I'm an idiot so now I'm just gonna be welding this totally blind um, and just gonna give her all away All right, guys, so we're all done here. Um, as you can tell, my welds are immaculate, let me tell you. Um, I have, I definitely set myself up for failure for where I placed this. Um, I also should have made this bar farther out because I couldn't even get, get my grinder in there, so I had to use a Dremel. Um, so not like that would have helped my, my shitty welds. But anyways, I was just gonna throw some paint on her and call it good. All right, guys, so got everything all uh, uh, painted up. It hasn't snapped off yet. Um, and got everything in the new box. Uh, so what I carry in uh, both of my trailer boxes is identical. I carry a lot more stuff up in the truck, but this will suffice me, I would say, on probably about 80% of my loads. So I carry six uh, 3 8 inch binders, a, a, a bunch of uh, bungee cords to secure excess chain or whatever I need. I carry seven 
flat hook straps. I carry one uh, J hook strap and then I carry an extra uh, chain end ratchet. And then I carry 10 uh, corner protectors and those green things are old straps where that have been uh, taken out of service that I uh, cut up to, to uh, also protect straps. So I carry a bunch of corner protectors and then I carry four uh, 10 foot sections of 5 16 chain, five sections of uh, five foot five sixteenths. I carry one little like one foot section of three eighths and then I carry two like one foot sections of five sixteenths. And that's my standard loadout guys for the trailer. So All right guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please shoot me a like and a subscribe. If you have any uh, comments or questions, anything like that, um, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I already know that I don't know how to weld. Um, so you're going to waste your time if you comment stupid stuff about that. Uh, but anyways, um, guys, uh, yeah, I really appreciate you watching. And um, there's a lot of manufacturers of trailers that, that will install uh, uh, chain racks into their uh, chain boxes. But they usually charge you like hundreds of dollars um, for something that's incredibly simple, especially for them when it's not even on the trailer. Um, it's it's got to literally take them like two minutes to do. This whole uh, uh, process of welding and everything took me maybe like an hour and a half, two hours. And um, yeah, you know, I enjoyed it. I got to save money and you know, I got to use, use some uh, uh, hobby toys that I have invested in. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more hotshot content. Thank you.